K4. It is so great to see my friends again. My name is Miss Hannah and I am so happy to be at home with you while we learn together. Today and all week, we are going to learn about insects and other types of bugs. Do you like insects and bugs? Good, me too. All right, friends, let's get started. I love to start our day off with a song, but I need your help. Can you help me? Great. Okay, I have a photograph and I'm gonna bring it closer. Can you tell what type of insect is on my photograph? Yes, you're right. These are ants. Good job. How many ants do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ants. And, hmm, where do we go to see ants? Outside. Yes, that's right. We usually see ants on an anthill where they live, their habitat. All right, guys, great. So let's start our day off with the song together. This song is called the Insect Song, and it's gonna talk about the body parts of an insect. There are three body parts. You might recognize the tune of the song. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen, head, Thorax, abdomen, abdomen, six legs, four wings, antenna, two head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Did you recognize the tune of that song? That song is to the tune of head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Help me, head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, my eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, great job. Did you do the movements with me? Perfect. Great. Now, friends, let me ask you a question. How are those two songs similar? What are they talking about? Remember our our photograph here on ants, we heard head, thorax, abdomen, but we also did head, shoulders, knees, and toes. They are two songs that are talking about parts of the body. Did you get that? Of course. Very good. Great job, friends. Excellent. You did awesome. Now, I have another photograph here, and I can't wait to show it to you. See if my friends can tell me what two insects they see. What insect is this? Did you say a bee? That's right, good. Now what about the second insect? Is this a bee? It looks similar, but there's also parts that look a little bit different. This insect is called a wasp. A bee a wasp, good job. Now let me ask my friends a question. Is a bee and a wasp, are they insects? Hmm, let's see. Remember our song? Let's see if these insects have three body parts. A head, good, they both have heads. A thorax, the wasp does, does the bee? Sure does. And an abdomen, hmm, the wasp has it. And so does the bee. Oh, do they have wings? Sure. Nice, and they also have antenna. Man, I think a bee and a wasp are insects, do you? Yes, very good, great job. Very good, friends. Man, kiss your brain. You are so smart, well done. Now, I have some more photographs to show my friends. And these are photographs of insects and then there are also photographs of bugs. 
So remember, an insect has three body parts, a head, a thorax, and, did you say abdomen? You got it, good job. And it also has how many legs? Did you say six legs? Give yourself a nice big pat on the back. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna show you some photographs and I want you guys to tell me what the name is. And is it an insect or a bug? Let's go at it together. Oh, we know what this insect is, don't we? It's a ant. Nice work, good job. Oh, look at this insect. What is this? Butterfly, good job. Nice work, ooh. And what about this insect? Dragonfly, great job. Ooh, one of my favorite ones, ladybug. Ooh, this one might be a little bit trickier. This bug, you might want to hold your nose. It's called a stink bug. <laughs> Ooh, very good. Do you know the name of this insect? It's a grasshopper. Ooh, here's some interesting pictures. This is a slug and this is a snail. Yes, good. Are these insects or bugs? Do we see six legs? Hmm, I don't think so. Does it have three body parts? No, I don't think it does. So, a slug and a snail, they are not insects, they're just bugs. Oh, let's look at this photograph. Can you see the photograph? I see a worm. Can you find the worm? This worm has great camouflage. It's blending in with its environment. This worm might be mistaken for a stick. Can you find it? There it is, right there. Hmm. Is a worm an insect or a bug? You're right, it's just a bug, good job. Oh, and now we're back to the bee and the wasp. Great job, and you guys told me the bee and the wasp are definitely insects. Good job, guys. Okay, now I have some pictures here. Let me see if I can raise this a little. I have some pictures here, and I want you guys to help me sing a song. Do you know the song, Hickety Pickety Bumblebee, won't you say your name with me? And then I'm going to show you the picture of the insect, and I want you to be able to identify and tell me the name. Can you do that? Yes. All right. Hickety Pickety Bumblebee. Won't you say your name with me? Fly, fly, that's your name. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Butterfly, butterfly, that's your name. Good job. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Grasshopper, grasshopper, that's your name. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Cricket, cricket, that's your name. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? Ladybug, ladybug, that's your name. One more. Hickety pickety bumblebee, won't you say your name for me? And, and, that's your name. Oh, great job, my friends. Very good. Oh, great job. Have a great day, friends. I will see you next time. Goodbye.